I thought I'd put on some lipstick and talk some more about lucid dreams a little bit because I feel like I, 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 I missed out on saying something, which is that lucid dreams are not all that fucking fun all the time. Um, they're exhausting. Uh, last night I dreamed that uh, one of my teeth, uh, uh, this one, wait, no, this one, this one was falling out, this one was falling out, and um, I know that's like a classic Freudian losing your power thing, your teeth are falling out thing, which, hmm, um, but I couldn't find any denture cream. It seems silly, but I also couldn't pack. I couldn't find my passport. I couldn't find the right train to get on. I was running around all night last night. I didn't get a whole night's sleep because I was having a lucid dream. And they're really, I wouldn't say like take them away from me because they are really interesting. I've had so many interesting lives, <laughs> honestly. But they're difficult because in just the same way that they tell you to envision things to make them true, like when I was like 11 or 12, I was going to go to some class the next day to uh, jump on a horse, or be on a horse and jump. And um, I envisioned it, and it went really well the next day. It worked. Just in that same way, and just in the same way that they say that when you relive a trauma, in your brain, you relive it physically, which is why they don't tell you, why cops shouldn't tell you to fucking retell your story of trauma over and over and over again like they used to. They should never do that to you because it's just gonna fuck you up, by the way. Um, in the same way, lucid dreams, um, they, they, they affect you in real life. You're exhausted in real life. And uh, this is another reason why I really, 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 really don't like that book, The Secret. Fuck off. You're telling me that if I have not the right thoughts, that it's my thoughts that are dictating what happens to me in life? I understand you got to have an attitude, a positive attitude, but sometimes you can't fucking help what happens in your brain. What if you've got OCD? What if you've got lucid dreams? What if you're just fucking traumatized and you say to yourself, oh, I'm not going to think about the bad things. I'm just going to think positive, a positive, positive. It's like in the play Six Degrees of Separation when they say, don't think of a pink elephant. Don't think of a pink elephant. And all you can think of is a pink elephant. Don't tell me what not to think and tell me that it's my fault that shit went wrong because I had the wrong shit in my brain. You don't have my fucking brain. The secret. I think my brother may have just walked in. This will be embarrassing. All right, well, I'm done. But lucid dreamers out there, I'm with you. It's fucking difficult sometimes. It's great sometimes. But that's what I have to say.